A Venn diagram shows the relationship between sets. In a Venn diagram, a set is usually represented by a circle. Here we have two circles. The elements inside this circle, A, belong to set A, and the elements inside this circle, B, belong to set B. The universal set is represented by the rectangle. And we use the letter epsilon to represent the universal set. Let's say that our universal set are the numbers from 1 to 10. Here we have our universal set. All of these numbers have to be contained within the rectangle. Some of them will be in set A and some of them will be in set B. Let's say that our set A are even numbers and set B factors of 20. Now we have this information, we can start placing the elements from our universal set inside our Venn diagram. Let's consider one. Is one even? No. So it doesn't go in this set. Is it a factor of 20? Yes, it is. So it goes in the circle for B, but not in this bit here, which represents A and B. Is two even? Yes, it is. Is it a factor of 20? Yes, it is. Three. Is it even? No. Is it a factor of 20? No. So the number three goes inside the rectangle, but it doesn't go in either of these sets. Pause the video and see if you can fill in the rest of this Venn diagram. Then when you've finished, press play to see the answer.